there. I live in a nice building. I never lived in a nice place before. When I was growing up, I had no money. Um, I mean, my mom didn't. Didn't matter. <laughs> I was a child. But um, I'm not used to it because it's nice. It's like a pretty courtyard with flowers and a fountain with little marble boys pissing. I don't know. What is it with fountains? Like, all fountain sculptors are pedophiles, basically. <laughs> you can't get a fountain made without... Do you make me a fountain? Yes, I'll get started right away. <laughs> oh. oh, yes! Yes! It's finished! And it's just little boys pissing on the face of a Greek god that looks like him a lot. Ah, yeah. oh, it's piss on me forever! <laughs> anyway, there's one of those in the courtyard of my building. <laughs> and uh, my first week in the building, about a year ago, I went down to the courtyard for the first time. And uh, I didn't look too good, you know? It was a Sunday morning. That's my least presentable hour. <laughs> a lot of, you know, just stains, just like you know, food and me and whatever. And so I'm, si I'm sitting there. So, shut up. <laughs> oh. Anyway, but so there I was. I'm sitting on the stone bench of this courtyard and uh, feeling a little out of place. You know, there's these fancy doormen and stuff. And then there's this guy looking at me. I notice he's looking at me from across the courtyard. And he's all spiffy looking. He's got brown shoes and he's looking at me like, hmm, I could tell he was thinking I don't live in the building. He thinks I just wandered in off the street and sat in a courtyard. I can tell he's thinking of coming over and dealing with me on his own. And I'm sitting there thinking like, oh, please do that. Yes, please, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I'm trying to look even more gross and I'm like, pulling up my shirt and then I see him go oh no that's not gonna do at all and he comes over to me hmm. and I'm like mm, I'm so excited to have this thing the confrontation where I'm not wrong at all and he thinks I am so he comes over says uh, excuse me do you live in this building and I said no Because why not start there? <laughs> I said, no. He goes, well, then what are you doing here? And I said, I just need to rest. I'm having a hard time. <laughs> he says, this is private property. And I said, well, I don't really believe in that. <laughs> you know, just the worst things I could say from his point of view <laughs> is basically all the things I was saying. And he goes, well, if you don't leave, I'm going to talk to the doorman. I was like, can I just stay like five more hours? <laughs> so he's, hmm, no. And he goes over to the doorman. And I see him talking about me to the doorman like this. And then I see the doorman going, oh, no, that guy lives here. That's OK. <laughs> and the look on his face, mm, it was just so, it was a, this beautiful, cocktail of anger and confusion. It's like I had an invented a new way to hurt somebody's feelings. That's, that's how excited I was.